Hi, my name is Avis Hinkson. I'm the Dean of Students and just wanting to go over a couple of things that frequently come up. Maybe you would want to think about this as the most frequently asked questions. Um, and as you're packing up your last few things and preparing to head this way, uh, I hope that these questions are helpful um, to give you some um, sense of what to look forward to and also some basic information about what you can expect when you get here. Orientation is just an amazing week and the range of activities and things that students will be involved in is so expansive. I think the highlights include running through the gates, that's part of the tradition of Pomona College. There's also the welcome that evening, the first night, and so being together with your entire class and hearing from administrators as well as upper class students and student leadership. Uh, again, a real time of feeling like you are part of it. Those are two things that first day that will um, be opportunities for you to post pictures and, and just think about what it means to be part of a new community and new family. So for parents, I think it's it's an emotional day. It's again, something that you've been planning for. You've been thinking that your student would one day go off to college and then the reality of the moment is upon you. And uh, it's just amazing how it hits different people at different times, but moving in the morning is just really trying to watch how much stuff your child can pack into one small room. Um, meeting other parents, meeting roommates and friends and just thinking about how your child will grow and develop over the next four years. You'll also have the opportunity to meet the leadership of the college, to attend information sessions, to learn more about the liberal arts, to learn more about student affairs and activities, ways in which we support our students, uh, an athletic presentation, um, and then just being on campus all day and imagining uh, the kinds of things that your student is going to uh, engage with over the next couple of years. It's an emotional day, but it's such a powerful moment to um, see your student begin to launch into adulthood. I think the tendency is to pack too much. Um, it's amazing to me how cars will pull up as if there are no stores and no opportunities to buy anything that you might forget. Most importantly, we have our recoup store, which is a sustainable uh, pop-up store that is available to everyone who participates in Move-In Day. What I would encourage you to think about is what are the comforts of home that will mean a lot to uh, your student. So um, is there a special blanket? Is there a special pillow? Is there a piece of art or you know something that you want to hang on the wall that will just remind you of home? Those are the things that I want to encourage you to think about bringing. Um, and talk to your roommate. Make sure that you're not both showing up with vacuum cleaners or both showing up with you know the mini fridge. But you know decide what you're going to bring and what somebody else is going to bring. Uh, but don't bring too much. I don't think there's any lack of opportunities and options from clubs to trips to uh, lectures to you know comedy to parties to all kinds of things to do here at Pomona College and throughout the Claremonts and I think students are always worried about you know will I hear about it will I find out about it um, during orientation you will participate in a, an event each night on a different campus so that you begin to make friends across the consortium and begin to hear about the different clubs and activities we also uh, the second or third week of classes we have our turf dinner and that's a gigantic club fair where you learn about all of the different clubs and can sign up and get more information about activities. So I wouldn't have any concern that I'm not going to know about the wide array of um, extracurricular, co-curricular activities on campus. But do remember that those activities are everything from religious organizations to affinity groups to um, major related activities to exploring California. You'll participate in your outdoor adventure OA and so again you get to take advantage of, of just the, the, the wealth of opportunities that exist in the state of California.
There are so many people who are eager to support. It's really just a matter of you finding out who you're most comfortable with and then taking advantage of that resource. That might be an RA, an upper class student. That might be your OA leader, again, an upper class student. It might be your sponsor group leader. It may be um, a faculty member that you meet on the first day of class. It may be someone in the dean of the of student's office. We have a class dean for each class. And so first years, um, you're going to meet the first first year class dean and she might be the person that you uh, turn to when you have questions or concerns. So be confident that you will find that person that you connect with, that you believe understands who you are, understands your values, understands you know what, what makes you laugh, what makes you happy, um, and they will be available to you. We're a small community. We um, work hard to get to know each other. And so uh, be, com be confident that you're going to find that person that you can turn to as a mentor, as a friend, as a support person. Can't wait to have you on campus, can't wait to meet you in person. We've been reading your applications and getting to know you through other medium um, and we are looking forward to getting to know you in person. So pack up those bags and head this way and I look forward to meeting you the morning of move-in day, August 25th. See you then.